Cowboy fans, this is Cowboy Legends for Life. I'm going to come back at you with uh, another video. This one in particular about my man Ezekiel Elliott. I don't get a chance to talk enough about him. Uh, you know, uh, given to the fact that still Dak Prescott still my favorite athlete, you know, today. You know, I'm not, I'm, hold on now. Roger Starbuck is still my favorite cow Cowboy quarterback. Okay, he's still my favorite quarterback. Dak still needs to prove things. He, he needs to improve and everything that I do know. But the fact of the matter is, Dak's numbers speak for themselves. I and mean, I'm talking about overall QBR and everything he's done, including rushing, including touchdown um, himself, his, his own touchdown, and, it, and passing and rushing touchdowns. And uh, so, you know, I don't, want, I don't care what any, any of them say, right? Dak Prescott has put himself into the top of the game, all right? Um, with the, the first two years he's played, right? But given that, the excuses that people try to make about why Dak Prescott has, has, has shown well to do because he had a front line and, uh, and he is running back like Zeke. Listen, we're talking history here, okay? We're talking about back in the day of Roger Starbuck and Tony Dorsett. We're talking about back in the day with um, uh, Danny White and Herschel Walker for a few years. We're talking also in the back in the day of um of okay of, of Aikman and Emmett Smith. You know saying? And now today you have Dak Prescott and, and Zeke Elliott. We had also, I'm sorry, don't even forget that. I, I apologize. We had uh um in the era of Tony Romo and DeMarco Murray, who just retired by the way, of course. But nothing's changed. The same game when all those players and all those teams were, were, were developing as a strong uh, force in the NFL. It was because of the run game that solidified itself with the passing game that made a great offensive attack. And the Eagles are no different than what they did this past season. And they're, and they're a liar if they say they didn't, okay? Because they're trying to play like as if they're a pass-pass team, which is bullshit because there's no pass-pass team that wins. It barely wins. Look at the case of the great San Diego Chargers back in the day. All right, how great! No, there was no passing team greater than the San Diego Chargers I've ever seen. With um, with uh, with uh, uh, with I'm sorry, Eric Coriel as their head coach. You had um, oh my God, the the pass the, the uh, quarterback was um, ah, my God, I apologize. It'll come to me anyway. The point I'm trying to make here is that um, they didn't have the the real vaunted run game that they needed. And back in the day, in the 80s, with uh, Eric Coriel. And so every time they got into the postseason, they crashed badly. Not just just got beat or just, well, they crashed badly. They had some stints where they had played some great games. They were overtime games like that one against Miami. That was a classic football game between Miami and um, and the San Diego Chargers, okay? With, but um, without no run game, they, were, they didn't bounce them much as great as their team they were in terms of the passing game. And I say again, what's that guy's name? I can't remember the guy. It'll come to me, I promise you. Either the, you'll see it at the bottom during the time I uh, download this video, his name, if I can't come up, before, come up with it before the end of this video. Anyway, I want to point out something about Ezekiel Elliott, how great he is, how potentially great he is, in fact, more so than grow. Now, Emmett Smith, his first two se his first two seasons. I'm counting this as the first two seasons of three of uh, uh, three backs. They're saying today that Le'Veon Bell, who's having all this problem, all these drug problems, he's doing all this stuff, getting caught with the enhancement of uh, drugs and stuff like that, and then getting suspended, all the other shit he does in, on and off the field. Everybody talks. They don't, everybody talks shit about Elliot, and all he did was just touch the titty. That's all he did. Okay, and that was his girlfriend's titty, right? His friend's titty. Wasn't, he wasn't in no damn Uber cab filling up women and shit he never saw before or didn't even know their fucking name, all right? He was just filling up his girlfriend's titty and he said, that's unbecoming a damn uh, NFL player. We must stop the Cowboys from winning. Eagles, screw up. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry. But uh, I'm just saying to you that Emmett Smith was a great back in his first two years. And this is what his totals were. Emmett played in 31 games. He had 23 touchdowns rushing in those 31 games, right? And he had 2,500 yards exactly in his first two seasons. 2,500 yards exactly. Le'Veon Bell played in 29 games, right? He had 16 touchdowns rushing. 
and he had 2,221 yards in his first two seasons. But Ezekiel Elliott suspended six games, barely played 10, barely played 10. In his first year, first season, he only played 15 games, played in 15 games, okay? And he has, he played in 25 games total, okay? 22 home runs, he had 2,614 yards rushing. And he's been suspended six fucking games. Anyway, that's how it's rolling, okay? No one can sit there and tell me, Ezekiel was like 16 yards away from 1,000 yards last season after being treated the way he did when he had no proof on him what he did, okay? Roger Goodell, and with the fact that they, the, the Giants had all those injuries in their receiving core last year and their front line to, to help uh, protect um, uh, uh, their quarterback, Eli Manning, right? I'm telling you now, with the, with the Redskins, the way that a trash can burnt dumpster fire that they are, the Eagles and what they did to the Cowboys by suspending all those players, including Ezekiel Elliott, they would know what was going to happen. The Eagles did come out and become winners because of what they did, to, what this, all these other teams went through. Don't tell me the Eagles had 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 um had uh, uh, some injuries too, but they weren't core Q, Q core players except to do to the to the uh, uh, the passing game and to the quarterback, you know. But Foles has established himself himself years before that uh, wins before he came into the league. Come on, let's honest, be honest about that. You know, and the only reason why you guys got rid of him because of fucking um uh, Chip Kelly, and still he would still be a damn uh, Eagle, Eagles fan, Eagle player. So admit to that. Anyway, that's what I'm saying here, okay? And that uh, Ezekiel Elliott is a, a lot better talent than people want to give credit for. They want to give it to the Cowboys front line. So do that. So what? We're not going to do him. We're not going to sit there and try to well, uh, uh, try to deny the fact that we have one, some of the best uh, offensive line in football. What are you supposed to be? We're supposed to run away from that? You better get you a fucking front line, which you did this time, Eagles. You developed a, a better front offensive line. And with the two, and got some better running backs as well, which elevated your fucking game. Keep going, go ahead and fool yourself if you want to. But guess what? It's going to be a whole lot harder this coming year to do to, to, to equal what you did last year, and you fucking know it. You better be prepared for it.